the first question it says find x and y. So we have a cyclic quadrilateral. X is going to be 180 minus 88 and y is going to be 180 minus 51. So that's 92 degrees for x and 129 degrees for y. Always remember that in a cyclic quadrilateral opposite angles add up to 180. Simplify square root of 45. So we prime factorize 45. That's nine times five. That's three, three times three. So that's going to be three square times five, which is three root five. Square root of a square number is always the number itself. So three comes outside and five remains inside. Simplify three root three times three root 12. So three root three times three. We know 12 is four times three, which is going to be three root three times three. Two comes outside because square root of four is two. Three remains inside. So now we have three root three times six root three, which is basically 18 times square of root three. And that's 18 times three, which is 54. Daisy spins a bias spinner twice. The table shows the probability of each color. Find the probability of the spinner landing on the same color twice. So the probability of it landing on red twice, that's going to be 0 0.1 times 0 0.1. Probability of it landing on white twice, 0 0.4 times 0 0.4. Probability of it landing on black twice, 0 0.3 times 0 0.3. And the probability of it landing on brown twice, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 times 0 0.2. So if you find these values, that's going to be 0 0.16, 0 0.17, Zero point zero nine and zero point zero four. Now we add them up. And once we add it, we will get zero point three. A circular mirror has a diameter of sixty centimeter to the nearest centimeter. Find the greatest possible area of the mirror. Give your answer in centimeter square. So upper bound for the diameter would be 60 plus 0 0.5, which is 60.5. So radius is going to be 60.5 divided by 2 which is 30.25. Next, what we do is we have to find the greatest possible area of the mirror. So area is going to be pi r square, which is pi times 30.25 square. That's 2874.6. Point 0.8 centimeter square. Work out the length of BC. Since we have two angles and one length, this is a complete pair of angle in length, so we can apply the sine rule. 15 over sine 112 equals to BC over sine 33. So 15 sine 33 over sine 112 equals to BC. Just plug it in the calculator. BC equals to 8.81 centimeters.